High levels of heat and humidity give way to thunderstorms. We'll time them out for you, let you know if they could be severe coming up. We had the low humidity, we had the sunshine, another perfect day across Kentucky and your July 4 cast, if you will. 85 degrees, your noon temperature. Our weather has been brought to you by the letter H. Okay. Beautiful photos, by the way, guys, we appreciate that. Wait, today, the kids are actually in school. Live anywhere in this pad, you want to take that shelter now. to rush out, and it lifts up the more moist. You see huge changing by definition can and sometimes will produce a brief spin up so that extends all the way to New Haven. There's Boston as I mentioned. You're exactly right Mark. I tell you what it's coming in very very good. A little warmer than it has been. Low humidity for the rest of the day today. It's a light. It's a powdery snow. I hope you are in your tornado shelter. Storm is fanning out. These are straight line winds. In the meantime, today, a hot one. A prolonged heat wave that builds through the area. It's cold in here. It's a shock value. Go yeah. inside out. It's going to be more of a shock value yeah. this week. New AC above us. It's helping. <laughs> Speaking of the city, why don't you bring that up there, Rach? Oh, Go which, ahead. Which button? The green button. I can push the Let's button. Let's bring up the city. We're going to talk about the headlines. Oh, hey. There oh. it is. <laughs> Score dancing, that sort of thing. That was kind of my deal. Do a little of that? Yeah, but I haven't done it since fifth grade, so I'm no good. Okay. All right, cloudy out there right now. Now let's talk about that heat index because it's going to be on the up and up. It's going to be trending, if you will. We're talking about a real firestorm. When to expect the heat index above 100 degrees coming up next. It's a warm day for late winter, much like it was just five years ago. Only today, the kids are exiting school in a rather orderly fashion. That wasn't the case on March 2nd, 2012. Hey everybody, meteorologist Jeremy Kappel with you again on this Saturday evening. Unfortunately, I'm cutting in a little bit more than I would like to. If you live anywhere in this path, you want to take that shelter now. Now's your opportunity to find your safe spot. Jefferson County, Indiana, the city of Madison, you need to be in your safe place now. Rotation, very evident. And so it's there where we had good heating today and we had those thunderstorms that really blew up. That's where that threat is. It's a narrow window, effective shear of 90 miles per hour. That's how fast that thunderstorm is rotating on top of you for central and eastern sections of Jefferson County. That's why we're not messing around. That's why we're taking our shelter. We're getting the word out to our friends that may be in that area here as we speak. I've already posted it to my Facebook, to my Twitter. Find me if you don't already. That information is out there. Take shelter now. You want to be in a sturdy building. If your home has wheels, I suggest you leave. Go someplace, go to a neighbor's house, friend's house. Now's your opportunity to do that. Now we go further south for Louisville. You too are underneath a warning, but this is just a severe thunderstorm warning for the city of Louisville. It looks like it was strongest right here, and that very well may have made a touchdown. I confirmed with the National Weather Service that this photo was likely taken close to the time that the touchdown occurred there in northwestern sections of Madison. You can see that lower cloud base associated with those tall thunderstorms with very, very gusty winds. Now we've got uh, our own storm chaser, Greg, Tornado 120 near E-Town. DRB, take a look at the hail. Ridiculous. Wow. Eminus, Kentucky. My goodness, that's a pretty big kid, looks like there, and that hail's wow. going all the way up. This is Highway 62, also known as North Mulberry Street, located just off to the east of the 65 interchange. You can see we've got slush covered roads. I tell you what, it doesn't get a lot better than this this time of the year. Of course, we're reaching our climatologically hottest part of the season in Kentuckiana. Today, not bad. We were in the 80s and we had this to look at for a sunset here this evening. This photo by Judy Nottingham out there in uh, the Breckenridge County Fair out in Hardensburg. Perfect conditions for the fair, and I think they're going to have good conditions tomorrow as well. You can see that high today reaching 87 degrees, not too shabby. Should be close to 90 for a high this time of the year, but with the lower humidity, even the 87 didn't feel bad at all. That dew point temperature at 64. This is under control. Is it a little muggy, a tad bit? Maybe. But for mid-July, that's pretty good. 79 degrees in Louisville right now. How about out the door tomorrow? You're making your way into service. And hey, I tell you what, if you're up early for that early service, you may consider grabbing a jacket in Greensburg at 60 degrees, 62 Bardstown, maybe even an upper 50 or two here or there. Brandenburg, Taylorsville, 59 to start off the day. Uh, upper 50s, low 60s, generally speaking, across southern portions of Indiana as well. Looking good. And we are dry. We're looking far and wide for rain. Nothing more than a little bit of ground clutter near the radar sites. I think it's about 24 hours from now. 
we'll see at least a small possibility of some showers for some of our northern counties. And I'll show you why. Nothing going on here locally. That's high pressure. We've got a front stuck to the south that's going to keep the humidity, at least the worst humidity, with it for the time being. But this front you see making its way through the Great Lakes, enough to spark some showers and storms. Traveling along this northwesterly flow aloft, We'll arrive here tomorrow night and Monday, and with that, some small rain chances. Not a big deal. Tomorrow, I, I see a bunch of sunshine, that high, close to 90, but again, humidity, not terrible. Here comes the front. A band of showers makes a run at us, but they kind of fall apart as we head towards tomorrow night with the loss of instability. You heat things up on Monday, front still in the area, could have a shower to talk about at that point. For tonight, clear and comfortable. May want to open up those windows, enjoy some free air conditioning. Final day of Forecastle here tomorrow. Let's talk about your forecast. 84 degrees at 1 o'clock. 90 your high, maybe a couple degrees warmer than today. That very small chance of a shower as the festival comes to a close here tomorrow evening. So 90 tomorrow. Temperature still under control as we head on into the day on Monday. That high on Monday right around 88 degrees. Not bad at all. We'll introduce a 20-30% chance of showers and then the heat begins to climb back and boy does it heat up next week. When to expect that heat index to rise over 100 degrees coming up here in about 15 minutes. You guys have a great Saturday evening. I'm hoping this is the last cut in of the evening, but if we need to get back on the air, you know we will. Stay tuned to WDRB Weather for the very latest.